question is to find the minimum dimensions of the cylindrical can if a manufacturer needs to make a cylindrical can that will hold 1.5 liters of the liquid determine the dimensions of the can that will minimize the amount of material used in its construction so the basic thing is when we analyze the problem solving we have seen that they are talking about some cylindrical can so let's find out all the things which we know about a cylindrical can so we know that the formula in order to find in order to find the volume of the cylindrical can it is pi r square h and the surface area of the cylindrical can can be written as 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square so let's focus on one of the thing one basic thing which is here 1.5 liters it shows that the volume of the cylindrical can is given as 1.5 liters now understand that whenever any volume is given in the form of liters you have to change it into centimeter cube by multiplying it with 1000 so you will get 1500 cm cube so this will help you to give the dimensions in the centimeter now once it is done you should know that the given equation now here in this case the given equation is that volume equal to pi r square h whereas h is given as 1500 so find out the value of h by dividing both side by pi r square so volume is 1500 divided by pi r square so this is your height once it is done just write down the formula of the constraint equation so your constraint equation under the given condition is area or surface area equals to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h now replace the h value so you will get a equals to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r and replace substitute the value of h as 1500 divided by pi r square so from here you can see that this pi cancels with this pi and this square cancels with this r so under these circumstances you have area or surface area equals to 2 pi r square plus 2 times 1500 gives you 3000 over r so now you get the constraint equation and you are ready to take the derivatives so let's take the derivative a prime equals to so the derivative of r square will gives you 2r so 2 times 2 will gives you 4 pi and r now r is down so in order to solve that you should know that you have to bring the r on the top it means r has a negative 1 power when you take the derivative of this one you will get negative 3000 r from the power we always subtract one so you will get negative 2 now arrange it by bringing the r to the power negative 2 in the denominator and make it as a positive power now you are done with the derivative set the equation equals to 0 and find the value of r so now set the equation you have the derivative so set the equation equals to 0 so you will get 4 pi r minus 3000 over r square equals to 0 bring this negative sign on the other side so you will get here 4 pi r equals to 3000 over r square now from here you can cross multiply you will get 4 pi r times r square gives you r cube equals to 3000 times 1 will gives you 300000 divide both sides by 4 pi 
so what you will get you will get here r cube equals to 300000 over 4 pi now how to get rid of this cube by taking the cubic root on both sides so take the cubic root on left side and take the same cubic root on the right hand side so let's check what you will get in that condition so this cubic root and cube is cancelled so you will get r equals to if you write it in the calculator and solve it you will get 6.208 so let's see r equals to 6.2 now put the value of r in h put the value of r in h and you had the equation h equals to 1500 divided by pi r square so on replacing or substituting the value of r you will get h equals to 1500 divided by pi the value of r you have taken at 6.2 and this is square you will write it here and solve for h so from this equation so from this equation you will get the value of h as 12.42 cm similarly the radius will be given in centimeter okay now after that you have to check that whether the volume is minimum or maximum so let's check what you will do obviously you will take the second derivative of the first derivative of the surface area so the derivative of 4 pi r with respect to r you have to take the derivative with respect to r means the r is a function so derivative of 4 pi r is 4 pi minus here you can again check that the r square is down so as we know that whenever something like 3000 okay whenever something some function is written in the denominator we bring it on the top to make the ideal condition so negative 2 times 3000 will gives you negative 6000 and already there is negative so you will get positive 6000 r to the power negative 3 now bring the r down to make it positive so you will get 4 pi plus 6000 divided by r cube now substitute the value of r which is now 4 pi plus 6000 over the value of r is 6.2 put the cube now you will solve it whatever you will get let's check is it in the positive sign or it is a negative sign and you saw that everything is positive so obviously the the term which you will get after calculating it will be greater than 0 which shows that you have a relative minimum it means you have an area which has a minimized so here the dimensions are minimized that's it